Hello, Ron Bashar here. So, Forge Pass Season 9 is out along with the Call of the Arbiter Episode 1 and the Login Champion Artak journey has started. And so, I want to take a look at the Forge Pass 9. As you can see, I have bought it. Uh, so, what can we expect? So, the, the this uh, Forge Pass uh, set is called Righteous. It's a new one. And is two pieces so it could be viewed as a better resist set or it could be yeah it could be viewed as a mix of the speed set and the resist set so we lose two percent speed only and we gain four resistance so who could benefit from here so guys champion that go for pure speed still should use speed i believe but champions that utilize resistance and also need to be fast right the, this is very good for them right uh elva duchess <coughs> sifi right uh python a little less so i mean i still like bolster on python but yeah the, that's the general picture right so it has to be a supportive unit right uh, needs to be fast but also utilizes resistance so it's not victim to the debuffs uh, so yeah that's what I feel like about set it's of course very good right I mean losing out 2% speed in favor of 4 resistance is excellent and so there's the free uh, path and there's the gold pass path right the paid path so you can obtain the forge pass for twenty dollars you could also buy extra levels for additional uh, extra money i don't advise that right i i would suggest just buying the gold pass is fine uh, so what does the free path give it gives us some silver some charms uh, some glyphs four star glyphs mostly some crafting materials uh, some magi steel right and that would be about it right yeah so and uh, sadly if you don't buy the stuff the number of uh, pieces the number of five six star righteous pieces that you can craft yeah, i believe is 15 only yeah because the five six star requires uh, five of these and the most you can get is 75 only and if you buy the gold pass you get 1000 of those so you can uh, craft like 12 215 five six star pieces and you get a full uh, six star legendary uh, set also for complete forge pass and guys this is the strongest feature i would say 10% uh, xp 10% silver from all battles as opposed to the raid guard which works only in campaign battles and it works everywhere and it gets stacked up right it goes up to 50 percent and we also get a lot of ores should we not like the items that we get we also get a lot of five star glyphs uh, we also get quite a bit of silver and an uh, enormous amounts of magi steel we also get access to the weekly challenges uh, in which if you complete them they give 200 more magi still each so, okay. so that's 20 percent xp and silver that is 30 percent that is 40 percent and finally it's 50 percent so guys it looks like it's bad right i mean it looks like it looks like if you just buy it uh, and uh, do not buy the additional levels it looks like you are not going to benefit too much from this that is wrong i mean if you go full try hard I mean, if you complete uh, the weekly challenges of week one, right? if you complete the weekly challenges of week two, and if you complete all of the daily challenges in here, and if you complete the weekly challenges on week three, on day one, hopefully, so on, the, on day 15 of the Forge Pass, alongside with those daily challenges, you actually get access to this on day 15. So it can be achieved as early as day 15 but guys of course the weekly challenges are weekly you know they are not sometimes very easy to do on day one so this is easily done on day one right 
This is a little harder to do on day one. This can be kind of abused with a lifesteal champion because over heals do count. So this is actually not that easy, right? I mean, imagine if you are beating a group of four enemies and you apply two debuffs to them each, that counts as eight. So you need to win uh, like 20 games like that. That's not very easily done. And I mean, just use like one stars or so in the sparring pit that would make that easy and there are some nasty ones so for example there is one that says uh, beat 40 people in the arena without actually losing any people that's not very easy because guys i mean one of the most important thing is you have access to a maximum of 39 arena tokens in a day if you don't buy extra right and that is if you utilize it perfectly so the method could be you could uh, get this on day 14 at a late hour and do not use it and save it day f on day 15 should that quest pop but then even then it won't be very easy so guys that is my uh, advice and tip here my advice is that you buy this but do not buy the extra levels and my tip is that you can actually achieve the max H, uh, XP and silver bonus on, on day 15 and it adds up quite, quite a bit. I mean, it is very powerful. So if you have a raid card and if you have the forge pass maxed out bonus, you can just run uh, campaign stage 12-3 on brutal twice and one stars will be maxed out. As opposed to running two brutal and one hard right so you save six energy when you're leveling uh, one stars but of course this is raid card and forge pass max bonus uh, and guys as i said while you are farming dragon while you are farming uh fire knight spider it makes quite a bit of difference right 50 percent silver 50 percent xp and if you have solo champions for those dungeons, I mean, Fire Knight solo would obviously be not very easy, but I mean, if you have a solo spider champion, solo dragon champion, uh, it adds up to quite a bit of XP. So if you have some energy that you haven't used in your inbox, like from the promo codes, etc., you save these, right? I mean, this can't be saved right now, sadly, because I don't have enough time, but I mean, if you have... Um, uh, a longer time uh, uh, full energy you should just wait till you can get max bonus and you can use all of the uh, free energy that you have uh, the energy refill that you have during that interval uh, to make uh, to get the most value out of it and that is it guys uh, I will see you on the stream bye bye